Well, it's a process, obviously, in terms of uh, they run the ball. They've got an extremely uh, good running game, uh, outstanding offensive line. Uh, they've had great success uh, running the style running game they're running. Uh, the, the number one thing we have to do is present it to our guys here on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I thought we got off to a good start on that today. Uh, obviously, it's not Billy Bullock running the offense like he normally would. Uh, we put a receiver in there and let him uh, run the option and do the things that they have to do so defensively we can see it. Uh, yeah, the reason they've had success over the last month, they're playing uh, at a real high level in all three phases. They run the ball, they're playing great defense. Obviously, they uh, won the game the other night 13-10 uh, to 10 and, and uh, had an interception for a touchdown. So, uh, you know, it, it uh, uh, they're having success doing it, and it uh, a, a presents a problem for our guys because they ha it's, they're not familiar with it. I think, first of all, it's a, uh, not, a, not a typical offense, uh, so it's, it's not something that you would have carry over. For the most part, we haven't seen this or even played against it, depending on what division you was in in college. So, you know, so uh, uh, that's going to be the biggest challenge. You know, people talking about running the table, 10 and 6, Sounds good. I would love to. I'd be the first one to tell you I want to do that. But you can't get 10 to 6 if you don't start this one this weekend. And that's, I mean, that's the plain way, that's the, that's the best way that I can tell you. That's the only thing we focus on. It is a one game season for us. That's the only thing we're worried about right now. The difference, a different kind of challenge than last week. Uh, not, that, not that Chicago wasn't fast, but these guys can really run. Um, you know, the pass rushers last week were big guys, you know, and these guys here really beat you with speed and uh, quickness. And um, and obviously we know in the secondary, they got two guys that, they got a lot of veterans back there, but, you know, Dawkins and Champ, obviously are two guys that uh, played at a super high level for a long time and linebackers are solid. I mean, it's it's definitely a good group. And we know, you know, last last time we played them, we got off to a lead in the first half, really in the second half, it was, it was, it was rough. and. Uh, we held on, so we know uh, we know what challenges ahead on Sunday. You know, you know to say that it's I just think it's not human nature to have the exact same attitude and the same emotion when you've lost five in a row as you would if you've won five in a row. But I think that's the that's the role of, of the leaders in the locker room and all of us together is you know trying to make the feel the practice the emotion like it felt in training camp when we were O and O and and it felt like we were going to win them all. And I think uh, that's the only way to to win on Sunday. If we let all this happen in the past, you, in the past, we can almost talk ourselves into, oh man, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? How are we going to do this? Is this going to happen again? Is this going to happen again? So you got to, you got to uh, control today. And I thought today the energy and the attitude was great.